Last night, <clears throat> we went to see the legendary one and only Trevor Noah. I think it's the third time that I'm seeing him in the UAE. And each time I'm thinking, is he going to be as good as the last time? And boy, he just keeps... Made my belly hurt. Let's just say that. I laugh so much. But here's the story that I want to share with you. Because he's so popular worldwide, you know, I think the Coca-Cola Arena sold 17,000 tickets. So imagine all these people that are trying to get into this stadium. And that too in the direction of Sharjah, which at that time, which is in the early evening, is peak traffic. So a journey that, let's say, if the roads were clear, would take me 20 minutes, took an hour and 20 minutes, if I'm not mistaken, maybe even a little longer. And that's also because we decided to get out of the car and walk at the last stretch. Otherwise, there would have been another 15 minutes in the car. But here's the funny part. We had two different personas in the car. One, and I'm not going to say who's who. One persona was traffic, late, keep checking, how long, should we take a different route, this, that. <clears throat> and the other persona was a second traffic. Let's just enjoy this moment, accept it, and uh, have a conversation, laugh, listen to music, anything. But not be anxious or confused or concerned. So the question I have for you is, which one are you? Because here's the thing. Can you do anything about that situation? Maybe you could get out and walk on the highway. Not very advisable, but uh, I guess that's an option. But in reality, you didn't really have much of an option. You had to sit in the car until it was safe to get out. And so if there's no choice in what you have, which persona should you be? And which one is going to be more enjoyable to uh, enjoy each other's company versus drain the energy levels? So again, which persona are you? And are you accepting the situations in life that you cannot influence or change? Question mark.